We bring in Loyola head coach Charlie Toomey now. And, Coach, we just mentioned some of the uh, the framework, I guess, for the Patriot League season and uh, the different divisions and whatnot. Uh, I guess, first of all, how do you feel about how it all sort of has played out so far here? Yeah, you know, I, I think it's been a, a lot of the fear of the unknown, right? Um, you kind of – you've got – your, your Patriot League schedule that you certainly have been looking forward to getting, knowing that those are your guaranteed games, you know, knowing that those games have to go off. Um, and if you lose it, you'll, you'll figure out a way to make it up. Um, and then, you know, kind of reacting to what the, uh, what the other conferences are doing. And so um, as, as we get more information from other conferences, uh, it allows us to try and look at our schedule and fill in by weeks that we have um, try to keep some traditional rivalries on our schedule. But, you know, like I said earlier, the, the fact that the guys are back on campus and they're running around and balls are in the air and sticks and gloves are in their hand, um, it's a good day. Yeah, it certainly is. It sort of probably feels a little bit more normal than things have been the past few months. So you mentioned non-conference. That is also part of the equation as well uh, for you guys in the Patriot League as a whole too, I'd imagine. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the Patriot League has guaranteed us seven games. And so, you know, we'd like, love to be somewhere, you know, to around 12 games if we could. Um, we've tried to figure out a way to keep Towson and Georgetown on our schedule, um, certainly during the bye weeks. Uh, but with the understanding that if uh, the CAA or Big East loses a game and, and Georgetown has to make that game up within that bye week, we might lose that game. Uh, and certainly the, the same case would go for uh, the Patriot League. So fingers are crossed that. You know, all of our out-of-conference programs can stay healthy in, on those bye weeks, not lose games so that we can keep those traditional games on our schedule. So what are you looking at as, in terms of a start date at this point? Well, um, we're still planning to scr scrimmage Richmond on the 6th. Okay. Um, some leagues allow scrimmages, some don't. Um, planning right now to, to scrimmage Richmond on the 6th with the, uh, the idea that we'll open with Virginia on the 13th. Virginia on the 13th. That would be fun for sure. Uh, no, obviously everything is touch and go, and that's sort of what we've been experiencing over the past year. I guess, what have you learned about your program and your, yourself and your guys over these past 12 months? You know, I, what I've learned is that they're resilient, right? And, and um, you know, I, I don't think anybody takes a practice for granted anymore. Um, not that they ever did, uh, but you really, it gives you an opportunity to get your, to know your team in a different way. Right. And and, you know, when we're doing more things virtually, um, having the ability to discuss books, um, read chapters and and talk about teamwork and, you know, just lots of different things, um, obviously, with a lot of the, uh, you know, the social issues that that came across, you know, the world over the last 12 months, um, you know, having the opportunity to talk to our team, um, to, to hear what they're thinking, right, and, and really to go on some Zooms with some even some other programs at Loyola and to listen, listen to guys, you know, uh, from our basketball program talk about their experiences and, you know, have our guys engage uh, with them along with, you know, um, outside community uh, resources that we have. Our guys do a great job with Harlem lacrosse. And, um, you know, just again, doing doing things outside of our locker room over the last couple months has been uh, has been really rewarding. Um, things that you just don't have the opportunity really to do, you know, in a normal year. You think about academics, you think about community service, uh, but really, you know, it's, it's, it's film room, it's lacrosse, it's academics, it's games. Um, and to do other things outside of that really gave us the opportunity to get to know our team in a different way. What were some of those conversations like? And you mentioned the social justice stuff, and obviously we've had things happen in the country even within the last week or so, and also, like you mentioned, over the summer. What was that like to sort of experience as a team for some of these guys? Well, I mean, obviously, you know, I, it really comes down for us as being a great teammate and a great citizen. And, you know, we, we look at ourselves as a program that, that tries to engage in community service, um, you know, and, and do a great job within our community. Um, I think having had the experience to go into the inner city and work with the kids at Harlem has been a great one for us. Um, and so, you know, I, I think it's been a little different for everyone, but, um, you know, again, at the end of the day, 
Um, it's everything that every coach and every every program preaches. It's it's you know we want great teammates, and that's in life, but also in the locker room and you know outside of it. And um, you know just being a good person, right? And um, you know that's one of the things that that Loyola I think you know really embraces is in that Jesuit philosophy of of men for others. Um, and if you're looking at things like that. Um, you know, you're probably going to give yourself half of a chance when you leave that locker room. Yeah, and that, that's off the field. Let's get to on the field now. And last year before the pandemic hit, I believe you're at four and two. You played a couple tight games too. the two losses to uh, Virginia and Duke. I believe those are fairly close games. Um, I guess what do you like? What can you expect at this point? I know it's difficult, but can you give us maybe a, you got some guys coming back and Lindley and Olmstead um, as well as McNulty too. What, what do you see in this group that you like so far here? I know you've got a limited time. Yeah, you know, I would start by saying the same team that took the field that started those games is back, right? So um, that's exciting for us. Um, so we know that, you know, we might not have had a lot of full field practices and done a lot with the offense and defense, but, you know, the older guys that have been here um, recognize what we're trying to accomplish. And then we just got to engage these freshmen, uh, the 12 freshmen that will show up on, on Saturday um, and and get bring them up to speed. So feel real good about our veteran leadership. Um, guys that, like I said, have started games for us are are back in the mix. Um, you know, every program's dealing with fifth year guys, and we're pretty fortunate to have you know um, guys back that are fifth year guys. And you know, already you're looking at you know moving forward with uh, the additional three classes and and trying to kind of work through that process. But I think we're a pretty veteran group. Um, and I'm really excited to uh, to get things going with these guys and watch them lead this new group as the freshmen come in on Saturday. To be successful this year, what I mean, you can obviously you can look at your own guys, but too, I mean, across the the board here, I guess you got to think health and being able to navigate the challenges you were just talking about. I mean, to me, that to me it seems like the biggest thing. How you can sort of roll with the punches and stay healthy at the end. I mean, that's always a thing when it comes to injuries, but now it feels like. COVID is a whole new wrinkle in that as well, right? No question. Yeah. I think the biggest conversation we're having right now is is all about contract tracing, right? So uh, COVID will hit Loyola. COVID will probably hit every program at some point. It's just going to be very hard to just bubble your own team um, with 4,000 kids coming back to campus and starting classes. It's just, I guarantee someone here will have COVID at, at some point. But the question is, how many guys will we lose when that happens? Is it just as roommates, um, you know, or is can they really do that contact tracing and and keep it to a minimum? Um, and if we're able to do that, yes, you're going to have other guys that need to step up in that moment um, and maybe, you know, replace a starter or replace a second line midi, fourth, fifth defenseman, whatever it is. Um, you know, but we've got to give ourselves a chance and not let it run rampant through our program and lose games. Yeah, I think that's everybody's philosophy here this year. We'll, we'll see how it all shakes out. Charlie Toomey, it's good to talk to you. We're looking forward to seeing everyone back in the field very soon. Thanks for so much for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.